And while most of us still have several hours until we bring in the new year, kids in Brandon started the party early. Check this out. Yeah, ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd celebrated with them at their New Year's Eve party. Whenever we do the countdown here, it's really fun because we get to scream and shout and do a whole bunch of things we're not normally allowed to do. The nonprofit organization Dancing for Donations gave kids a reason to celebrate early with a noon countdown to the new year. Well, obviously, most kids can't stay up till midnight, so we decided to do a New Year's Eve party, and we just wanted to create a fun, safe place for kids to come and kind of have a party. So we set up, you know, disco lights and do crafts and snacks and things. Sarah Battaglia founded the studio two years ago as a way to introduce dance to families that may not have this outlet anywhere else. I know as a kid how expensive dance is. Um, my mom always worked several jobs in order for me to be able to dance, um, so I didn't want families to have to stress about that. Sarah says it's amazing how much one weekly dance lesson can change a child. I think it's super important. It gives the kids um, confidence, increases their strength, flexibility. Um, they, get, they create friends. And Sarah said there's no better time to learn a new step than the beginning of a new year. Do you have any New Year's resolutions? What's your resolution? It's a goal for the new year, 2020. Um, to read 360 books. That's a pretty good resolution. Good luck with that. Thank you. Happy New Year! In Brandon, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.